Hey, that little kid is crying. Wonder what happened. Let's go check what's wrong. <laughs> Master Chevin, she... she... She went to gather volcanic crystals, but she's still not back yet. <laughs> I told the guards, but they said they don't have people to spare. Plus, that area's super dangerous, with tons of monsters and bad guys. <laughs> they, they have to finish making preparations before they can try to rescue her. But it'll be too late by then. So, you'll help? Great! I'll just make a quick The guards went earlier. They said Master Chevin might have stopped around here. She might have been forced to go near the Umbral Needle. If that's the case... Then... Please! You have to save her! Valuables and a trove of potential clues.
to the map, we should be getting... Get away from me! Look, over there! That must enchant it! Where did you come from? So, so strong! Let's get out of here! Well, they didn't put up much of a fight. <sighs> Thank you so much. I thought I wasn't going to make it down this mountain alive. Saved by the Traveler. Guess my luck's not too bad today. Uh -huh. Sorry, let me introduce myself. I'm Chevin, a gem artisan. I'm not usually this lucky, but maybe things are looking up. She did, huh? I didn't mean to make her worry. I wasn't planning to be gone longer than two days, tops. But then I discovered a new seam of volcanic crystal near the umbral needle. It's a large deposit and the purity is exceptional. I dug up a whole bunch of it and was getting ready to head back. But the phlogiston within the crystals attracted monsters. I panicked and ran up a narrow path to avoid them. But by the time I was in the clear, I ended up running into those bandits. You showed up in the nick of time. If the situation was so dangerous, why didn't you just drop the crystals and run? I left most of them behind, believe me. I only kept the purest chunk. I have to bring it back no matter what. For Tlasoli and poor little Nechka. Ah, right, you wouldn't know. Tlasoli is a former ancient name artisan, and Nechka is her daughter. That's right, or, well, she used to. Now she just handles regular forging commissions. Because of her daughter, poor Nechka contracted an awful illness, and Tlasoli put everything aside to take care of her. Even as Nechka's illness grew worse, Tlasoli never gave up. Like a torch in the night, she was determined to burn bright, even as darkness encroached from all directions. Still, all's well that ends well, thanks to the doctor's medicine and the great spirit's protection. Nechka's flame was rekindled. Her condition has been slowly improving ever since. She's still weak, of course, and has to recuperate at home. But she's well enough to write letters already. She often writes to Shilonen, apparently. Her dream is to become an ancient names forger, just like her mother. Her birthday's in a few days, so... Tlasoli asked me to find a pure volcanic crystal to give her as a present. Yeah, talk about an important chunk of ore! What a nice gift! Paimon hopes it helps her feel better. I'm sure she and her mother appreciate your well wishes. Alright, let's head back. I'm sure Imish is worried sick. Actually, why don't you come with me to visit Tlasoli tomorrow? It's all thanks to you that I managed to bring back the crystal. You deserve a reward for helping us protect something so significant. That's right! A good mood makes for a quick recovery! And of course, we... wouldn't say no to a little gift. <laughs> Don't worry. Something tells me you'll like this one. But I'll let Tlasoli tell you what it is herself. 